Amen. We're not going to read a passage this morning. And the reason for that is because what I'm about to share with you is interesting. I think it'll, it's very thought provoking what I have to share with you this morning. And so it would have to push me to take from different passages as a theme, thematic text. So here's what we'll do. I'm just going to give you the title of what I want to talk to you about this morning. So, things I learned from an animal. Things I learned from an animal. Leçon apprise d'un animal. Ou pas qu'on ait une leçon qu'à apprendre, son bête qui apprend nous les. Est-ce est-ce qu'on ça? Et à travers la Bible, nous gagnons un tas d'exemples pour des bêtes capables d'apprendre nous des leçons. Et des leçons importantes. According to science and biology, the word animal comes from the Latin animalis, which means having breath. And if animal means having breath, those of us who have gone to school, high school, we know that we as humans, we are what? Animals. You understand that? By definition, we are animals. We are a different type, a different kind of animal, but nonetheless, we are animals. In other words, any mass of matter that has breath is considered to be an animal. All animals, however, are not the same, as I just said. Science and biology have also taught us that there is a distinction to be made between humans and the rest of the animal class. Human beings belong to a class known as Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. The word Homo sapiens literally means, in Latin, um, wise or knowing. Knowing, that's what it means, okay? A man that knows. Homo sapien, a man that knows. Uh, so it can, it can, we can, we can conclude then that what makes us different from the dog, the donkey, the cow, is our ability to know. We're all animals, but not all animals know. You're going to have to understand that if we know, then what distinguishes us from the animal, the cow, the sheep, the dog, is that while we know, animals act by what we call instinct. As such, we humans, we act on reasoning, but animals act on instinct. That's why you're able to train a dog. And the dog will do the exact same thing under the exact same circumstance every time. C'est ça que fait qu'on dit chien sans honte. Parce que chien pas qu'on question de raisonnement ou te fait le rond de jambes te ballon coup de pied donc faut qu'on y a la folle 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 gain sentiment je sais pas comment comme ça parce que chien a agi sous sa nourrir les instincts est-ce que nous l'avons jusqu'à présent maintenant there are similarities between homo sapiens we and other animals what are those similarities animals eat humans also eat animals sleep Humans also sleep. Animals have, you know what I'm talking about, to procreate. Humans also do the same. In fact, they do it in a way that displeases the Lord sometimes. Animals defend themselves and fight. Humans also defend themselves and fight. However, even with all these similarities, animals are not able to ask some of the basic questions that you and I can ask. Questions like, who am I? Questions like, why am I here on earth? What is my purpose? Questions like, why am I suffering? And what must I do to liberate myself? Animals cannot ask themselves that questions. But humans can. In other words, humans have what we call self-determination. Humans can be in a situation and say to themselves, I no longer want to be in this situation, and I'm going to get out of it. Just this morning, my wife and I on the way to church, we were talking about a situation. 
of a couple where the husband blatantly has blatantly told the wife, listen, I have side chicks. And yet the wife, out of an effort to keep the husband, she is constantly, constantly posting on social media pictures to show that, hey, I got my husband. I got a beautiful house. I got money. And my wife was like, that's a chip that doesn't function well. Because how can somebody who treats you so badly, you decide to just stay there, knowing how that person is living, right? And so you can say to yourself, I am not going to stay in this situation. This is not going to work for me. I'm going to get out of it. Why? Because as humans, we have self-determination. Now, you would think, you would think, you would think, with all this reasoning capability, with all this ability to self-determine, that human beings would have it all figured out. That's what you would think. You would think, with, with our ability to reason, that we have this thing down-packed. You would think that with all the knowledge that we would always have our act together. But let me tell you this morning that there is so much to learn from certain animals. The Bible shows us that there is much wisdom to be gained from certain animals. And as we consider this this morning, I want to look at just three. There are so many more. But for the purpose of time, I'm going to look at just three animals uh, and see what it is that we can learn from them. Be it passion, be it wisdom, be it stewardship, there is so much to learn from an animal, as we will see this morning. The first animal that we're going to consider this morning is the sheep. Somebody say sheep. Somebody say sheep. Psalm 23 is perhaps the most well-known passage uh, besides maybe John 3.16. So, everybody knows Psalm 23, right? Uh, believers and non-believers, they find comfort um, in Psalm 23. Yet, while we always celebrate the shepherd of the psalm, rightfully so, we should take a minute to look at the sheep in the psalm. Because if there's a shepherd, there certainly must be a... Come on, guys, are you with me? If there's a shepherd, there must certainly be a, there must be a sheep. David is writing this, this psalm from the perspective of a shepherd who now sees himself as a sheep. So because David is a shepherd, parce que David, um, David c'est un berger, il comprend quoi l'éternel dans la ville, comme mouton. Vous voyez, bon? Il c'est berger pour mouton terrestre, mais il connaît son mouton. You see, with all the power of God that David experienced, it still didn't stop him from sleeping with another man's um, wife. With all the power of God that David experienced, it still didn't stop him from conspiring to kill that man, moving in with that man's wife, and then playing religion for about a year, like everything was okay. Why is that the case? Well, there is madness in sheep. The sheep is a crazy animal. And frankly, I can stand up here this morning and I can think of myself as a sheep and how I have madness in my life, how I have craziness in my life. But God, the supreme shepherd, has accepted to take care of me as a sheep. Amen? Amen. Listen, you all are sitting here looking all pretty this morning. You smell good. But you have madness in your, in your life. There's madness. There's craziness in certain areas of your life. If you're honest with yourself, you will realize that there is madness somewhere in your life. There's, there's instability somewhere in your life. And that's what makes you crazy sometimes. That's what makes you mad sometimes. See, sheep are restless Sheep are easily scared. Sheep are prone to wandering. That's why we read in Isaiah 
a verse where the prophet is speaking and he says, Oh, we, like sheep, have gone away. Nous étions tous errants, comme qui ça, comme de? Ça fait ça, parce que les moutons sont bêtes, ils ne sont pas dans la place. Pour aller friter. Vous comprenez? Pour aller errer. Sheep are prone to wandering. And that's why sometimes we are not stable, even in our work, in our dedication to God, in our service to the Lord. We are prone to wandering. Yet despite all these bad characteristics, there is something we can learn from the sheep. And what is it? The sheep knows who it belongs to. The sheep knows who it belongs to. David speaking as a sheep says, the Lord is my shepherd. Say that this morning. The Lord. L'Eternel. L'Eternel. That's right. It's important to know who you belong to. The Lord is my shepherd. And because the Lord is my shepherd, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I may be restless. I may be mad. I may be easily scared. But I know who my master is. I may be prone to wandering. But I know who my master is. Amen? I know who my master is. In John chapter 10, um, 10 we read, And when he puts forth his own sheep, he goes before them. And the sheep do what? They follow him because they know his voice. The sheep know the voice of their master. Amen? Amen? And so we can learn from the sheep. To, uh, uh, um, the lesson that we can learn from the sheep is a lesson of belonging. Une leçon d'appartenance. That's a lesson we can learn from the sheep. Regardless of what's going on in my life, I know whose I am. Not who I am, but whose I am. I know I belong to God. Why? Because I belong to him. Amen? Clap your hands for the Lord this morning. The second animal that we can learn from is an animal called the deer. The deer. There's a song that we often sing that goes, As the deer panted for the water, so my soul. You guys know the song, right? And in Psalm 42, verses 1 and 2, we find, first of all, the inspiration for that song, because does, not David this time, but the sons of Korah, they were writing the psalm, and they said, As the deer pants for water, so my soul oh, longs after you. Listen to this. Deer, ça nous est gazelle, ou bien serp. Bish, bish, thank you, mommy. Bish. Listen to this. Deer, for the most part, live in what we call a tundra, or a uh, tropical forest, tropical rainforest. In other words, those habitats are habitats where sunlight is very low. And because of that, trees are not able to sustain growth because there is a lack of water. There is a lack of water and there's also a lack of energy because low sunlight and you know you get energy from the sun. Now, the deer, because it is inclined to live in those areas, the deer is always looking for a brook to drink water. However, the problem is that the, near, the, the nearest brook is not always very near. So the brook is thirsty, the brook is looking for water, but the nearest brook is not always near. So the, the, the deer sometimes will have, sometimes will almost have to travel 
five to eight miles just to drink water. Anybody who knows me knows that I drink a lot of water. On average, I drink about a gallon and a half, two gallons of water a day. When I don't find that water, I'm like, whoa, what am I going to do? And I don't like hot water. It's got to be a little cool. What am I going to do? Imagine if every time I wanted to drink water, I had to walk five to eight miles. Let me let that sink in for a minute. Could you imagine if every time I wanted to drink water, I got to walk five to eight miles? I don't think I would make it. Listen, I wouldn't even make it. Now, you don't understand that because when you need water, you can go to the faucet. You can go to the fridge. You can go to the store. You can stop at the gas station. But just imagine if every time you wanted water, you had to travel that far for water. Here's an interesting fact about a deer. A deer can go days without food, but it cannot go a day without water. Let me repeat that. A deer can go days without food, but a deer cannot go a day without water. And so naturally, that made me ask myself the question, am I thirsty for God the same way a deer is thirsty for water? And as I, as I ask myself that question, I want you to ask yourself that question. Are you thirsty for God the same way that a deer is thirsty for water? When you wake up in the morning, are you thinking about your water? Because you see, for the brook, the water is a source of life. It's a source of sustenance. It's a source of living. When you wake up in the morning, are you thinking about your source of water? Are you thinking about your source of water? And the problem is this. Again, anybody who knows me knows that I don't just like any water. I'm very picky about my waters. That's, my, that's why my wife will, she, she'll often buy the waters that she knows I like and she stacks them up in the fridge. You, 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 you'd be surprised. Sometimes if you buy me a bottle of water that I love, it'll make me so happy. Happy. Buy me a bottle of Voss. Buy me a, bo- uh, a bottle of essentials. Now, mind you, I have a very uh, bougie taste in water. Um, aquapana. <laughs> but not any water will do. And I say this not to make a joke, but I say this because as a Christian, not any water will quench your thirst for God. Are you with me this morning? Not any water will quench your thirst for God. And sometimes you go looking for substitutes, but what you need is God. You don't need a therapist sometimes. You don't need a counselor. You need to spend time with the master. Because not just any water will quench your thirst. Oh, man. And and, and I think John chapter 3, Jesus is speaking to the Samaritan woman, and he says to the Samaritan woman, you've come to draw water. I want you to know, listen, if you drink this water, what's going to happen? You're going to be thirsty, huh? But if you drink my water, oh, God, there are going to be rivers, rivers, rivers. Somebody say rivers. There are going to be rivers flowing. Rivers of water. C'est ça. Jésus t'a dit, femme samaritaine, ou vin la, ou vin prendre de l'eau, ou vin puiser de l'eau. De l'eau ça a sous boel. On garantit ou a soif encore. Garantit ou a soif encore. Mais gon de l'eau, de l'eau pas m'na. Sous d'accord pour boel. Gade ou a gagné. Oui, ou a gagné la valade, de l'eau qui a sauté en don. Ou a gagné des rivières. Gade non, ou a gagné. Ou a gagné la agra for spirituel la cap. I said, "Look, I'm not passing here." Amen. I know the hallelujah. I know the hallelujah. Woof. So, now the deer. The lesson that we can learn from the deer is that the deer will do whatever it takes to find water. Martin Samvlo Kourajio, même j'ai avec Bishla. Même j'ai avec Bishla. Whatever it takes, find God. If it means sleeping less, look for the Lord. Go look for God. Amen? 
If it means eating less, you need to fast one or two days out of the week. Look for God. Amen, 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 amen. Listen, if you have medical issues, I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have medical issues, ask God for the grace. Fast at least once a week. Once a week. Give God some time. Uh, show God that you're thirsty for him. Show God that you want him. I promise you, God is worth a lot more than a slice of pizza. He's worth a lot more than a cheeseburger. He's worth a lot more than oxtail and white rice. I promise you, if you abstain from food one day a week and look for God, you will find God. You will find God. You've got to do whatever it takes to find God. Because that is your source of life. That is your source of life. Clap your hands for the Lord again. Amen. Amen. We spoke about the sheep. We spoke about the deer. And here's one last animal we have to speak about this morning. The eagle. Amen. The eagle. Whew. The eagle. Interesting animal. Interesting animal. Now, here's a verse that we all know very well. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, the Bible says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings of an eagle. Ooh. Man, I could shout just on this word right here. Told you I love water. They that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wing, wing, wings of an eagle, sorry. They shall run and not be weary. Come on, young people, pay attention to me, man. When you come here, listen to what I'm saying. It may do you good. Some of you are distracted. They shall run. They, they, they that wait on the Lord shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. My goodness. No conversas habia, pa we? Pa we? Ceux qui espèrent, hein? Et pas ça? Ça bon Dieu a fait. Ça pour renouveler force yo. Ça coup sel. Hein? Sel. En créole, yo yo les aigle mal fini. Ça va dire mal fini pour ça, non? Mais c'est comme ça, les bêtes là. On prend aigle, on a dit aigle. Ma même mal fini. Hein? Vous comprenez? T'as coup zèle aigle. Lise, moun oui, moun oui, moun qui espère en l'éternel oui. Wap kouri, et ou pas fatigué. Wap marche, et ou pas tombé. T'as une promesse, pas mon propre promesse ça. Je ne mets pas de raison pour moi, pour nous décourager, non? Hein? L'enlever. Regardez, il y a quelqu'un là, vous, il faut prononcer la parole ça en sous vie, oui. Ça vous dit au nom de Jésus, ma paix espère en l'éternel. Regardez, si tu as choc de vous, on se retrouve là dans l'an. Ce n'est pas ça que tu as dit, non? C'est qui tu as crié, oui? C'est à quoi bon tu as dit, oui? Mais au nom de Jésus, vous ne dit ça. Vous avez dit, mon, qui espère en l'éternel, qui s'en met, moi c'est mon, ma paix espère en l'éternel. Je la renouvelle, force moi. Encore les ailes d'aigle. Je ne peux pas camper, je ne peux pas bouquer, je ne peux pas marcher, je ne peux pas tomber. Now, I want you to understand this, guys. I like the English. The French says, ce qui espère. So the English would have to be those who hope in the Lord. But notice it didn't say those who hope. It said, those who wait. Say, wait with me. Wait. Wait. I want you to imagine that you are at a very fancy steakhouse. And you are one of the waiters or you are one of the waitresses. Are you with me this morning? For, for you are a waitress and you are at a very fancy steakhouse. And... Your customer is the Lord. The Lord has come to have some steak and lobster and shrimp. But you are the waiter. 
in your case, waitress, how would you wait on God? This isn't, the, 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 the picture here is that those who pay attention to the Lord's every need. Oh, God. And so, as a customer, you want to make sure that God is pleased. Dear Lord, is there anything else that I may do to, 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 to make your experience more enjoyable? Yes, worship me more. <laughs> Dear Lord, is there anything that I may do to make your experience more enjoyable? Seek my face and fasting more. <laughs> Dear Lord, is there anything that I might do to make your, enjoyable, uh, your experience more enjoyable? Abstain from wickedness. <laughs> Dear Lord, is there anything that I might do to make your experience more enjoyable? Love more. <laughs> Dear Lord, is there anything, is there anything that I might do to make your experience more enjoyable? Love your neighbor. <laughs> Whoa! So you would do everything in your, in your power to make his experience more enjoyable. And the author says that those who wait, those who wait, those who wait, those who make the experience of the Lord more enjoyable, what is he going to do as a reward? Ah, uh, he's not going to leave you a hundred dollar tip. Uh, he's not going to leave you a thousand dollar tip. But he will renew your strength. Uh, you will walk and not be weary. You will walk, you will run and not fail. Now there's some interesting things about an ego I want you to realize. Hear me, hear me. Unless, you want to learn this, even if it's just to know. most certainly are looking up. Leur fin paye elle. Mon Dieu a pleuvé. Leur chercher mon Dieu dans l'humilité. La pleuvé. C'est ça que fait dit. L'humilité précède la gloire. Mais l'orgueil, 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 l'orgueil qui ça le précède? La chute. Mais quelqu'un qui est d'accord au payer prix de consécration. Prix pour chercher mon Dieu. Puis mon Dieu a pleuvé. La pète en place côté mon oblige les végétaux. Vous gardez. Vous ne faites pas. Vous ne faites oui. Et puis là, ça ne va pas faire ça parce que c'est pas l'objet qui le veut. C'est bon Dieu qui. Le verre, pas mon boule, Seigneur, à terre. Le son que nous apprenons de bête. Things I learned from an animal. Here's another thing about an ego you need to know this morning. You will never, somebody say never, you will never see eagles hanging out with chickens. You will never see eagles hanging out with chickens. En d'autres termes, ou pas j'aime ouais aigle qui fait banque 
avec poule, coq. Est-ce que vous l'avez? Pas besoin de jeûner dans poule. Est-ce que vous avez dit ça du matin? Why is that? Because <laughs> eagles don't hang out with chickens. Eagles only hang out with eagles. Donc c'est ça que fait l'or, c'est chrétien. Je mets du brin, pause. Mais mon nom est capable de faire pour le servir bon Dieu. Ça a pour hang out. Ça a pour hang out. C'est non mais pour un conseil. Est-ce qu'on l'a fait? Parce que ce n'est pas tout le monde qui l'église qui est sous bon Dieu. C'est ça que fait. Oui, Jésus pour le dire au dernier jour. Plusieurs me diront en ce jour-là, Seigneur, Seigneur, n'avons-nous pas, n'avons-nous pas, n'avons-nous pas prophétisé, chasser des démons. Eh, vous des miracles en ton nom. Nous Eh, c'est nous nom. Hein? À 11h45 du soir, nous nous sommes des connus. Hein? Dieu veut que nous ne pas ça pas tout le monde. Ce n'est pas un flot qu'on a pour un flot sous le carbone à l'heure. Pourquoi on ne passe pas temps avec eux Eagles hang out with eagles. Je ne dis pas que vous faites un tout pour l'église. Mais si vous avez cherché un monde pour qu'on ne parle pas avec eux, cherche un monde qui est sous bon Dieu. Cherche un monde qui est en humilité. Cherche un monde qui est pareil, mais place devant. Hein? Attention, attention. Cherche un monde, cherche un monde, cherche un monde. Qui est l'esprit de bon Dieu sous lui. Est-ce qu'on a avec eux Eagles only hang out with eagles. More. Here's something else I learned about an ego that was interesting. Egos, for the most part, egos will mate. Mate. You guys understand where I'm, where I'm going with this, right? In other words, egos, egos will have babies with one person for the duration of their life. Let's go have them. You know what Things that we can learn from an animal. Nous même qui connaît Homo sapiens. Nous même qui gagne raisonnement, habilité pour nous raisonner. Nous même qui gagne, regardez non, nous gagne connaissance. Mais la gagne est Et puis nous même, ça qui passe, c'est l'inap fait. Regardez depuis le commencement, tant bon Dieu, il veut détruire ça dans ma gomme. Et je dis, à la pire, bien aimé. Par la pire, oui. La... On dirait que c'est aussi chaque ville son saut dans ma gomme là-dedans. Il y a des zones qui ne sont pas, mais il y a des zones, mais chaque ville. Il y a des salles qui ont passé. Et ce n'est pas pareil ça seulement. Là, regardez, taux d'adultère, fornication, comme si déviation sexuelle même, par ça y Yo ho! Yo élevé! Moi même, I'm speaking from experience. I know that life, unfortunately. But the ego will mate with one, one ego for the duration of their lives. It's a lesson on purity. Amen? Amen? And so, egos don't lower their standards to associate themselves with chickens. Because they see the chicken as a lower bird. We're both birds, but I'm an eagle. <laughs> We're both birds, but I fly higher. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not a Rockefeller, but I fly higher. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both birds. But we don't hang out. We don't live in the same place. Amen? Clap your hands for the Lord. <laughs> Say, Lord, Lord, I want to be like an eagle. Yeah, 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 I want to be like an ego. Listen to this. Here's a third thing about an ego. The ego's vision. Somebody say vision. Guys, because of their height, their elevation, egos are able to see miles ahead. I didn't say feet ahead. I said miles ahead. Jesus. Why? Because they see things from an elevated perspective. You understand? Think about it. Don't you see when you're in an airplane? Or if you go to like a, like a game park and you're on a ride, you see everything that's happening. It's like a, panoram a panoramic view of the city. Because Why? Because you are ele elevated. And so an ego, l'ego vision supérieure, parce que lui élevé, lui kawé, 
bagaille qui était, 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 était kilomètres devant elle. Parce que elle est élevé. Si c'est un bon, il est en coupe Ou pas même quand il est en sac de mur. Est-ce que vous l'avez? C'est un bien. Ça, ça veut dire. Moi, je m'en fais coup. Moi, je m'en fais coup. This is the literal thing. But spiritually, what does this mean? When we agree, l'un d'accord pour nous rêver dans le bon Dieu, l'un d'accord. D'ailleurs, songez, mes amis, mes amis, la parole de Dieu, vous connaissez ma velle, il est tellement gagné. Synchronization, symmetry. Hein? Moi, je suis que l'aigle est un animal qui est élevé. Qui est la Bible de Dieu? Qui est la parole de Dieu? Dis-nous, les Ephésiens. Nous assis dans les lieux qui ça? Ah? Qui est qui est le lieu céleste en bas ici, là, lié? Il va être élevé, lié? Il est élevé. Il est élevé. Il est élevé. Il est élevé. Cela veut dire, moi-même, avec si nous avons place, nous, si nous avons côté nié, si nous faisons respect, nous bon Dieu, si nous cherchons face à Seigneur, nous sommes dans un lieu élevé, et puis puisque nous sommes dans un lieu élevé, nous avons des choses depuis de loin, bon Dieu permet de Same as the ego. You won't literally be on top of a tree, but if you spend time with God, since the ego can see things that are miles and miles away, and when you spend time with God, because of your fellowship, your intimacy with God, God will allow you to see things that are far away, things that are coming. Let me tell you something. Malheur cap vini, bon Dieu fort well. Ah, bon Dieu dit, est-ce que me ka quitter? On bagay rive, on malheur rive, ça me pas annoncer zanmim abra. Whoosh, we beep. Listen, we sing it all the time. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Are you really a friend of God? Because if you're a friend of God, you ought to be enjoying the privileges of a friend. Whew. I hate that term, but with God, when you are a friend of God, you have benefits. Amen? Uh, you have benefits when you are a friend of of God. Will you seek the Lord so that the Lord shows you the things that are coming? There are certain persecutions that are coming towards your marriage, towards your children, towards your finances, towards your job, towards your school, and God will show you these things ahead of time. Ahead of time. Ahead of time. Ahead of time. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise God this morning. Praise the Lord this morning. A couple more things, I'm coming to an end. There is also something about the ego's lungs. There is something about the ego's lungs. You see, egos have large lungs. Because they fly so high, where they fly, the air is thin. <laughs> This is why the Lord says, This is why the Lord says, if you wait on me, I will mount up your wings like wings of an eagle. You will run and not be weary. Ça veut dire, on va courir, mais on ne va pas fatiguer. Mais l'on court, on suppose fatigué. Hein? Mais c'est logiquement parlant, c'est pas ça? Faux, faux. Si on va courir, on doit être fatigué. On doit être fatigué. Mais là... Bon Dieu dit, Dieu pour espérer dans moi, ou chercher face moi, ou passer temps avec moi, you will run, ou à courir, et pour pas fatiguer. C'est ça que fait, oui, lui comparer à Egla. Parce que Egla, puisque lui vole ou, quand elle vole, elle la différent. Elle parle la pupille, regardez, elle est purifiée. Les plus purs, c'est l'air par là qui pollue. Est-ce qu'on l'a même? Et puisque l'air par là qui est bon, regardez-nous, il y a plus d'oxygène. Eh, vous êtes capable de faire ça, vous êtes le faire. Est-ce qu'on l'a même, bien aimé? Oh, parce que l'ego fly dans une zone où l'air est air is thin, l'ego a plus d'énergie, plus d'oxygène. Ça aussi signifie où les autres birds vont tomber. Egos will take off. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Where other birds will fall off, egos will take off. la vie, il y a quelques problèmes, il y a quelques situations, il y a quelques circonstances, il y a quelques têtes chargées, il y a quelques opprobres qu'on a dans. Regardez, si son poule là, il est déjà. Est-ce qu'on l'a même? 
Ah, mais l'on son aigle. Ah, libre force pour Kembe. Libre force pour endurer. Libre force pour Kembe là. Même les problèmes yo là. Même les moments difficiles. Mais libre force pour Kembe. Parce qu'on son aigle. Où sont aigle? Où sont aigle? The stuff that will drive a chicken crazy. You'll be able to handle it. Say, Lord, give me that grace. Come on, say it. Lord, give me that grace. Où pas les grâces? Ça dit, bon, je fais une grâce ça. Parce qu'il a fait tout le monde fou. Moi même fais une grâce et j'aime dans le Seigneur. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. And here... Here is the last thing I want to tell you. And I want you to pay close attention. Eagles, because of where they fly, they're always flying high, right? Because of where they fly, they often fly into bad weather. A cause de hauteur, aigle, souvent aigle, la fait face à des tempêtes. La fait face à, comment on t'a dit là, et, you know, bad weather, mauvaise température. Parce que il est tellement haut. Parfois, bien aimé, il faut regarder des rapports et météorologiques pour comprendre ça, ma petite là. Quand il y a une grosse cause qui a passé, en l'air, sous tête tout, et puis il peut arriver en bas. Quand on tempête, quand on a la pique, 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 Egla a retrouvé tête dans une mauvaise situation, ça, ça le fait. Maintenant, yon bagay pour me dire, c'est que Egla, Zelli, c'est pas bagay, mais c'est pas mes affaires. The eagle's wingspan stretches from about 8 to 10 feet. Wow, what one? The eagle's wingspan, ça veut dire, l'elou ouvert Zelli, stretches from like 8 to 10 feet. Woo! So most eagles, most because they have wings that are large, they can fly into a storm instead of going to hide in a cave. Because the eagle's wing, the eagle is equipped with large wings, they can make it through a storm instead of having to go down and hide into a cave. So how exactly does the ego do that? What the ego does is that the ego, when it sees a storm, it opens its wings. It harnesses the energy of the storm. And all it does is that it opens its wings and it shifts, it adjusts, and it goes higher. In the storm. Here's what you and I, we need to learn. When we go through storms, we don't need to go hide under a rock. We don't need to cry like the world is over. Storms will come. Because of the ego's height, it often flies into stormy weather. What does that mean? That means if you as an ego you are elevated. Every now and again, the Lord is going to allow you to go through some stormy things in life. Et puis, je ne toujours pas de m'y dire ça. La vie chrétienne, il va faire de sunshine seulement. Mama said there would be rain on some days. Lorsque c'est chrétien, et bien chaque jour, vous allez manger, vous allez manger, vous allez manger, vous allez manger. Il y a un jour qui est content, mais il y a un jour qui est content. On parle de grand goût nécessairement, non? Ça me le fait comprendre, c'est que il y a un jour que vous content, mais il y a un jour où vous êtes content. Je ne vais pas vous dire déprimé, mais il y a un jour où vous êtes content. Quand vous êtes en douleur, il y a un jour où vous êtes en douleur. Bon, 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 b
Même le bagage de la petite ou de l'autre monde. Bien aimé, parfois, pas vraiment qu'on garde mamie. Mamie, mamie, il y a un problème. Et ce n'est pas un problème, il y a un nom. Là, il y a un nom, nous, même petite, qui prêle, etc. Il y a un problème, il y a un qui est bien loin. Il y a un problème, il y a un monde dans l'église là. Il y a un problème, il y a un monde qui est rencontré dans le stall, il y a un pas laver pour 10 minutes. Quand il y a un fardeau des hommes, bien aimé. C'est là qu'il faut comprendre, l'or c'est aigle. Ou à gagner des moments quand on va passer dans la tempête, ou à passer dans le mauvais temps. Parce qu'on sont aigle, ou élevé, ou élevé, ou élevé. Mais, mais, si on se dit nous, ça aigle a fait, l'aigle entré dans le mauvais temps, l'ouvre les ailes, l'ouvre font à juste école, et puis les monte plus ou aux tempêtes là. Oui. <laughs> oui. Si on so, bien comprendre, les problèmes sont finis. Dans la prière, on va ouvrir ses loups, on va font ajuster, et puis on va monter plus au problème. Amen. Mais c'est dans la prière seulement qu'on a fait ça. Oh man, here's a word for you this morning. Who, who, who wants to be an eagle? Understand that eagles, when they fly into storms, they open their wings, they shift, they adjust, and then they fly a little higher. Fly higher than the storm. I want you this morning to fly higher than that thing that's bothering you. Fly higher than that thing you can explain to anybody. Fly higher than the problem that you have. Fly higher than the problems you have at school. Fly higher than the problems in your... Fly higher than that spiritual problem. You've been seeking God for a long time. Seek Him more. Fly higher. Fly higher because they that wait on the Lord, He shall renew your strength. It shall mount up like wings of an eagle. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not fail. May you be an eagle this morning. May you be an eagle this morning. May you know your worth. May you know where you are seated in heavenly places. May you know who your shepherd is. May you seek after God like the deer seeks for water. This is my wish for you this morning. God bless you.